What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Listen, real black men defend black women. Real black men got black women's backs no matter what. And that goes for anything. That goes for anything. Listen, real there are real black men out here. I know we got all these weak black men on the internet. I know we got all these we got all these men that's making a career on social media bashing black women. I know we got a lot of men that's making a living trying to disrespect and denigrate their black women and propping up other women to make their women look jealous. I know we got a lot of weak black men in our community. All right. And that is a product of Western society. That is a product of our proximity to you know who. All right. Understand that we have a lot of weak black men that could never, could never get themselves right. They don't know how to be in a frame. They're in their feminine energy. We got a lot of weak black men in a feminine energy due to the situation we find ourselves in America. But don't get it twisted. We, ha we have real black men out here. I'm one of them, a real black man. That's not a shame to support a black woman in front of other weak black men. Because ain't none of them weak black men can do nothing to a real black man. They can't. They just look like fools and cowards. And I just want to give you a demonstration of what uh, this is an allegory. This is a video allegory of how all real black men feel about that black woman. It don't matter if it's my wife. It don't matter if it's my daughter. It's just a black woman, period. Because real black men support and protect their black women. And if they ain't doing that, they're not real. If a black man will allow a white man to disrespect his woman in his face, he's not a real man. If a black man joins in with white, white men to disrespect black women, they're not a real man. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. If a black man joins with white, white men, Asian men, and Indian men to disparage black women, if a black man has the back of a white man over a black woman, they not real men. And you can stay with whoever, for you weak black men, you can go stay with whatever demographic you want to stay with. You can go, go over there to, uh, and eat them butter biscuits from them, from them white people. Go on in, kiss them asses, and look like clowns. Be a court jester for everybody else, because you don't represent real strong black men. Because black men are powerful, you understand? Black men are powerful. And the reason why we're powerful is because we're tools to protect our black women, who are also powerful. So without further ado, check this out. Real black men protect black women. Say what you want about black men, but when black men, black men, especially behind black women, behind black women, when black men, black men. So in this video, if you haven't already seen it circulating around, this man claims to be an IOF soldier from Israel, right? They're in London, and in passing, this man is viciously verbally attacking this black woman who brought her camera phone out okay to record him trying to attack her now this man this black man first off i felt like he took a, a little too long to break that interaction up you know what i'm saying they're two adults i understand but i felt like he took a little too long but when this man started to charge towards her not only did he step in but there's a black man that comes right from behind him and he the way he runs down on this man Thought she was finna have another moment, huh? Thought she was catching a black woman slipping. Thought she was gonna be a part of the demographic that called themselves trying to raise a hand to another black woman. And fucked around and, find, and found out. Now listen, I got the video for y'all. Y'all finna see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Because the way this man fucked around and found out that quickly, how you don't step up in a black queen's face and think that you gonna do what? That you was finna tussle? I'm going to show you exactly what God means when he says he loves his daughters. So let's watch. Oops, real quick. Now, it's important to note that there's a group of women right here, right? There's one you see who's missing a hijab out of all the women, out of all the Muslim women that, are, that have their hijab on right in back of her, right? It's because his ass walked up to this group of women, snatched her hijab off, and started calling them, screaming, dirty effing Muslims. And you'll hear that in the video, okay? She's the only one that stood up for these Muslim women. She's the only one who stood up for the Muslim women. As you can see, her hijab is off. All the other women around her have their hijabs. In the video, he shouts, dirty effing Muslim women. And she was standing up for these women, trying to protect them from this man who was trying to assault them. 
Okay, so let's get into it. 